What up my peoples? So, come on, ride with me. I'm about to go get a car. So, let's buckle up and hit the road. Kitty cat trying to go with me. You ain't going, player. Nah, you ain't going. He said, I could just chill in the back. Nah, if you can't hold no camera, you can't go. So right now, you on Bags of the Gold channel, and you staying at home. Guess what, y'all? I'm back with another Box Chevy video. Back to you again with another one. Let's go get a car. We don't need no gas station stop because I'm already there. Let's go. Bags on the go. Make sure you subscribe, like, share this video, and please click the notification bell so you can get all the updates, notifications right away. Right now, I'm going to go get another car, and I think I'm getting pretty good at this. Got a box Chevy coming home, got my name on it, so that's where I belong. I'm about to go get it. Bags on the go. Make sure this traffic is nice and I stay safe. Make it back home with another car today. I'm out. And so far, I only found one that got me back out on the road. So I'm going to go get it right now. You'll see it in a minute. I'll cut you back off. We're going to check it out together. When you travel in the winter, the best part about it, you don't get no bugs all over your windshield and in front of your car. Gotta love it. Stopped at the first checkpoint for gasoline. way I'm headed to Ohio city of Columbus and we about to go pick up a box Chevy I just had to have another one I kind of feel left out without having a Caprice classic around and it's sad it, a tear drip out of my eye it's not a LS though it's not a LS I couldn't find one I couldn't find one. But yeah, so driving through Ohio right now. Got about an hour and 30 minutes until I'm there. And your boy, you see his box Chevy. That's a nice car. It's nice and clean. You know, granddaddy style, as they say. It's clean. That's what I'm looking for. This, this time around, I don't want to do no full vinyl wraps. I don't want to replace a vinyl top. I don't want to take fenders off. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be able to jump in it, do my thing, park it, and that's it, man. That's it. I just got to have a box Chevy in my life, man. The box Chevy community, they welcome me with open arms. You know what I'm saying? So I got to get back to that community, man. It's a large following. Large. So if you here, please subscribe, like, and share this video. Let them know, Box Chevy. 
gang, Fox Chevy gang, and I'm back, I'm back with another one, hopefully I don't sell this one, I gotta watch it, <laughs> I gotta watch it, I gotta be careful of what I say with this one, because that last one I said I was gonna sell it, then I said I wasn't gonna sell it, and then I sold it in like three days, wishy-washy I can be, I can be, but you know, this one, I, I learned my lesson, I'm gonna go ahead. I ain't say, I ain't gonna say I learned my lesson because I did that car for that reason from the beginning. To make some money, that was it. Take the project from nothing and make it into something somebody wanted. But I didn't think it was gonna be this hard to not have a box Chevy in my life. I got Monte Carlo, I got other cars, sleeve shots, bins, you know what I'm saying, all that, all that. But it's just something about them box Chevys. I gotta, I gotta have it back. So I got a few parts laying around that came in that I had on order for the other box Chevy. It didn't get to make it onto the LS box Chevy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on this one right away. Like the LED lights, the steering wheel. Um, I haven't figured out if I'm gonna do any interior wrapping. I gotta look at the car, I gotta inspect the car, I gotta, you know, feel, get a feel for it. Um, other than that, back on the road, I've been up long nights, early mornings, all day long, scrolling Facebook on Box Chevy, uh, Facebook groups, just looking for what's for sale, and hopefully it wasn't too far. Search wasn't going too well. It wasn't. I'm going to go ahead and blatantly say that. It wasn't. Uh, it was cars coming he up out here and there, but then, you know, they were in North Carolina. I'm not driving in North Carolina. I found the, uh, found the car in California. Now, Washington. I found the car in Washington. I'm not about to have a car shipped from Washington. Nope. So it wasn't the one. So I started looking in the Midwest, particularly in the Midwest, just so. I know I can jump in the truck and I can just go get it. About a week. It's been about a week I've been seeing this one. And I messaged him the first time. You know, I didn't want to uh, lowball him or anything. So I messaged him. He's, you know, you got to watch it. You know, you get this asking the wrong questions. They be you know, trying to understand. Don't be asking about what's wrong and all this and that. Because I know you're trying to get the price lower. That's just the name of the game. You know how it go. But no, I didn't do that to him. I was nice about it and say, you know, I'm looking for a box Chevy, so I think your car is it. What can we do? What can we work out? And we came up with a good number right in between what he was thinking and what I was thinking. So he accepted. I said, all right, I'm going to load up the trailer and I'm going to be down there. And then this morning, he said, I got somebody that's supposed to be coming from Indiana. Let me see if they're available. I said, no, nah, I done missed my chance. I done missed my chance to own my box Chevy again. Luckily, the guy was giving him run around. So he was like, hey, you got it. Come on, come on and get it. It's yours. I was like, all right, cool. Let me, get, let me, let me move a few things around. Let me uh, get this snow off the trailer. And I'm gonna be out there. And I'm cruising in the sun today. The sun feel real good today. Oh yeah, it went down a little bit now. Went over some clouds. But yeah, that sun feel good. I'm ready for that to come back. I just made it to Flag City, USA. Ohio. But yeah, so he said, come on, it's yours. And I was like, alright. I did it. I did it. I secured the box. Put the box in the bag. It's mine. So, headed there now. And, and check this out. So, I picked up the first box from Ohio. Uh, this box is right down the street in the next town in Ohio. I said, ah. Oh. I gotta go all the way back down there. I was hoping, you know what I'm saying, to be at the top of Ohio. Uh, driving all the way to the middle of Ohio. Now, I, I'm used to this trip though, I'll tell you that much. I'm used to these highways, I've been here. And 
been here a lot. I'm just driving around Ohio, just driving around. What's next? I'm coming back to Ohio for something, I can tell you that. Ohio and Indiana be some of the gems. Ooh, they be some of the gems. Every time I look online, I see Ohio, Indiana, I just get happy, excited. I'll be, hey, I'm on the way. So, with that being said, let me tell you about all the folks that are sitting on Facebook Market selling their car, right? They got a whole pose, they got the price, pictures, all that, all that, right? When a person like me is ready to come buy the car because you got it listed online, tell me why they be, they be just testing the waters. How you, how you, wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. You mean to tell me, let me tell you this story. So you mean to tell me you selling this car online right now, but the car is in the shop getting a trans put in. Why don't you just wait until the car comes out the trans shop and then put it online just in case your phone get the blown up with messages and texts. I'm coming right now today. Why would you do that? It's hard enough answering all these people back because I know I've been there. Everybody be inboxing you questions, this and this and that. Why would you want to go forward with just telling them, well, I don't have the car right now. It's in the shop. When I get it out, then I'm going to sell it to you. Come on. That's wasting time. Get the car out the shop, then post it up. And then when you get serious, they ghost you. Cash in hand, ready to come, ghost. I found a great LS. It was a beater. Oh, it was a beater. Hey, but I was going to bring it back to life. You know, it was at the right price. I would have threw a little bag. It was just a little bag, threw a little bag into it. It would have been something, right? Hey. May the best man win because I probably was a second too late or something because he said, yeah, I'm, I put it pending because you coming. And then next thing you know, ghost. He would leave me on red straight ghost mode i'm like ah uh, it's gone it's gone it's for sure gone i ain't even going i ain't even gonna look forward so i just deleted it and kept it pushing went back to all my old saves caprices that i've been finding because i would just find them and save them and if i wanted it i'll go, uh, go back into the post you know just scroll through pictures read the uh, description 10 more times <laughs> contemplate is this the one <laughs> all of that so you know I did that for a little while you know text my boys you know send them the ads you know get everybody fired up and rowdied up ask them what y'all think this the one you know just a little, a little insider stuff yeah so you know your boy about to drive back down this uh this one two lane road I know this road all so well. It was night. I was picking up the first box and it told me to take this road all the way back to 75. I was on this road for like 30 miles in the dark. No gas station was open. Every town was, it was Christmas, around Christmas time. So y'all remember. Every town was closed. So now it's nothing but open fields. And I'll turn you back on when we go through the next town. Yeah, so it's taking me back down Main Street. And this is the little town that I drove through. It was pitch black. Well, it's multiple more towns throughout this stretch here. I'll be on this um, this stretch here for 17 miles more. Uh, but this little town was is pretty cool. And I know exactly how to get back here. And that's what's cool about it. Um, I would like to take a nice cruise back down here when it's nice in the summer, possibly on a slingshot or something and just explore and see what's around here. But uh, I'm familiar with all of this. It was pitch black at night. I was the only one on the road, but this is a drive through store. That's pretty cool. 
you know and I'll, I'll be able to come back here and explore I like this little small town stuff I want to see if they got any uh, antique stores out here come back and uh, check out some things to buy We done drove right into another little town again. And this is where I shot my video. I was right here. Yeah, remember Mr. Cheesy? Yeah, there go Mr. Cheesy right there. This is another drive through store. That's pretty cool. I was trying to figure out like, man, what oil change place is that? Let's go get some gas station shots and then hit the road. That's it. Get a little shot. It's 
Sad to see her go? Yeah, sad to see her go. It's going to be hard to watch her drive away. <laughs> Man, she's so sharp. That color is amazing. Just an hour away, baby. And we at home. Check us out. <laughs> Truck is a beast. No 5.3. We got the big 6.2. And when it click, it's time to hit the road, Jack. Bags on the go. Baby Bear said... James got a new car. I can't see it because he parked up front, Watch but he got another car again. All right, see you later, Bear. Talk to you later. What's up, my people? I got a new car. Want to check it out? Damn. Woo. It's cold this morning. She arrived safe from Ohio. And now it's time to go to Auto Tent Way so we can put her in the heat. Take this tent off this morning. He took the center uh, caps off. He's like, I gotta have those. My dad. My dad had those on his Corvette. I said, okay, cool, no problem. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, she's beautiful. She is beautiful. I'm not going to wrap this one. I'm going to leave it be. I am going to leave it be. Alright, let's get to the shop. I got some work to do. Good morning, good morning. I haven't even got the car off the trailer yet. And I'm just still taking photos and videos.
make sure you subscribe like and share this video it's bags on the go i'm james and welcome aboard and if you already been here you know what i'm about to do let's go oh so this one keep your filthy paws off of her she's not for sale and i'm going to try my best not to get rid of it because i already know how the search goes the search goes all night all morning all day months on to try to find that perfect one and she ain't perfect but she's far from a hoopty you dig what i'm saying so i ain't getting rid of this one i'm keeping it and uh man i'm so excited today is a good day today is a good day we got the sun coming through i don't care it's 25 degrees out here but i'm hot <laughs> look at that man so yeah we back got another one let's go